Hey everyone, this is Body Creation Coaching with Cheryl, moi, um, and I'm just coming at you, uh, just starting this new channel and just I have lots of things that I want to talk about, lots of things I'm hoping that you will enjoy and you will hopefully receive tons of benefits um, from it. So basically, let me just start off, this is an intro, I want to talk about what is Body Creation Coaching? Well, if you have a body, then you should be here, uh, and creation. So this came about, basically I've done many years of lots of different body stuff. From I, I'm a massage therapist. I've done martial arts for you know over a couple of decades, and I've done yoga. I've taught classes at the Y, like body pump and boot camp, and you know, I've done kinesiology training, which is about tapping into the body's wisdom. So lots of different body things. And what I realize, creating, creation. We generally, you know, desire a, maybe a slim body or a body that looks a certain way. Um, so a lot of us, you know, go to the gym and we slave away at losing that 10 pounds and then in you know turn that we can go home and maybe eat a piece of pie or have a couple of cookies so this is not about particularly weight loss however when we begin to work with the body create with the body then that is going to happen a lot easier all right so hang on to your pants or not i guess um so creation Again, so I learned that the years of training and martial arts, kickboxing, whatever I was doing, that there were come a point in time, and many, that I was actually not creating with my body. I was actually, for lack of a better term, destroying my body. What does that mean? What does that look like? Well, you know, most people say, well, I, I go to the gym six days a week, or da 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 da. Well, are you actually with, still creating with your body? Or are you destroying it at times. All right, so there's a subtle balance. Now, when we start to listen to the language of the body, because the body has its own language, and sometimes the language is sensations or pains in the body that we'll experience. So when we have those things that take place, we tend to think that there's a problem instead of listening and going, well, body, what are you telling me? What What's going on? Uh, what am I aware of? And I will tell you, in the last maybe three, four years, particularly, I've been working um, in access consciousness, and that's actually also fine-tuned what I've already known about the body, and it's really helped sort of elevate my awareness with it, what I can do, my abilities, my gifts, and so on. So, creating with. I learned years ago when I was teaching my body pump and my boot camp classes, I also had worked at a salon at the time doing massage therapy, which behind me is my office here uh, that I'm currently at, I'm not, no longer in the salon. And I would teach my classes and then I'd go into the salon to do some massage and my back, wow, it would like give away. So was I really creating with my body or was I just slave, like it, it was a slave to me? And I was just dragging it along and doing, you know, it was doing whatever I asked it to. And our bodies do. Our bodies do whatever we ask of it, I would say, probably most of the time. Until it just gets fed up. You know, if you had a partner and say for, I don't know, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20 years, whatever, however old you are. I'm 46. And what if I never listened to it? What if I never listened to what my body needed? I mean, this is a gift. This is a gift. So if I never listened to what my body required, eventually it's gonna speak up. It's gonna either, it's probably gonna yell at me, meaning I'm probably gonna have maybe a pain here or here. And I'm not saying I've never had pains or sensations in my body or things happen. However, I've started to learn, it's just talking to me. It's telling me I'm like, what is going on? What is happening here? And sometimes, all oh, a lot of the time, it's not, has nothing to do with how you slept last night or what you did yesterday with your body. A lot of the times it has to do with this piece here and your emotional piece, the mental and emotional state. And I'll go into that a little bit more too, other videos. Louise Hay, amazing. She, cre she had a book, Heal Your Life, years ago. And from that book, she created this little book and reference guide 
to different places in your body that ache or hurt and what it means for you in your life. Once you can get to the root, once you can get to the actual, I'll say, you know, the root cause, what's really going on, then everything can change. And when I mean everything can change, it means you can have less pain, you can feel better, you can have a happier body. Can you imagine a world full of happy bodies? What would that even look like? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I think it'd be pretty cool. Most people that come see me are in a lot of pain. Um, they come and lay, lay on my table here, so they're hurting. And a lot of times it's because they didn't listen to their body. So I'll give you a really quick story, actually two stories. I love stories, I love sharing experiences, and I'm gonna give you lots of tools and lots of tips. We're gonna do lots of different things here, and you get to see what works for you. So story number one, this morning, I teach a yoga Zoom class, and I, in my head, I had done some strength training on Tuesday at my home, and I really wanted to do it Thursday. I, let's, I like to listen to the rule of give yourself a day in between. Not that I'm lifting super heavy, but I just still sort of follow that. And this morning I was like, oh, I wanna lift. I wanna do some bicep curls. So I grabbed my barbell. It's not even super heavy. It's probably maybe, mm, I don't know, like 20, 30, 30 ish pounds or 40. And I started to, you know, do some bicep curls. Well, after about mm, one, actually one, <laughs> my elbow right in here began to hurt. Well, now most people might go, oh, what, what is that? What's going on? I have a problem in my elbow now. Well, what I realized was, my body had already not wanted to lift. It did not want to do any strength training this morning and I was forcing it. Well, because I do understand my body pretty well, I realized that it was just telling me, no, we're not doing this right now, stop. So I did. Yay, woohoo! <laughs> so that is some of the way the body will talk to us. How else is it gonna to talk to us? A lot of times if it whispers, if it's real quiet, or someone's really quiet, you don't hear it, you just, uh, you just don't pay attention to it. Well, then it's gotta yell at us sometimes to get our attention. Hopefully through this channel, through this vi these videos, that can change for you. Also, another really quick story, and why do I know that the mental emotional component has a huge impact um, on the body? Well, here's a story for you. So I had a client on my table, she's only 27, and approximately like 10 years ago or so, she had an injury. It was an injury in sports in high school, and you know, it became chronic in her neck. So 10 years later, doctors diagnosed and are saying, oh, you have a weak neck. She really started to buy the fact that, oh my gosh, I have a weak neck and now I can't imagine what I'm gonna be like when I'm 50 if it's hurting this much now. Now she has a nine month old also right now. And you know, you attribute some of those things to holding your son or you know how you're moving, how you position yourself, sure. And second time to visit me, second time, she gets on my table and she's telling me about this chronic injury and this what's been going on. And I said, can I ask you a question? And she said, sure. I said, so right around the time of this injury, prior to it, was there anything really traumatic or anything, you know, sort of heavy duty going on in your world? And she said, well, actually, yeah, there was. And I said, okay. And she goes, I was battling an eating disorder. I said, oh, wow. Tingle started to run in my head and we started to talk a little bit about that. I said, does that have any connection to your neck? And she's like, oh my gosh, she's like, I never, I, I hadn't considered that. And as we began to talk, energy began to change, things began to move, and things were shifting. And she was able to shed and let go of a lot of things from that moment. Her body locks things in. It locks things in like judgment. We love to judge the hell out of it. So if you're judging the hell out of it, you know, you're creating whatever it is you're judging. If you're judging that fat ass or you're creating more of a fat ass, you ain't gonna create a slim ass, I'll tell you that right now by saying that. Or if you create, oh, my belly always hurts, my belly always hurts, you're gonna create more of that in your body. So just be, we're gonna be mindful during these videos and I'm gonna talk a lot about that as well. So anyway, so I wanted to just go back really quick to my client that was on the table with her neck. And so she came to me the second visit and she, you know, most clients come see me once a month. She came back the next month and I asked, you know, how are you doing? What's going on? And she goes, well, I need to tell you something. She goes, that pain that's chronic in my neck is, is gone. I was like, wow, how awesome is that? So 
this is how I know. Now she had some residual pain. I'm not saying everything completely went away, but that major chronic issue that real, uh, that really bothered her all the time had dissipated and released. How freaking amazing. <sighs> so that's how I know that mental emotional piece is hugely connected to the body. So we need to look at that too. If you have hand issues, carpal tunnel, we're gonna talk about all of that. Now I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give you a roadmap. Um, I am your coach, that's the third part, coaching. I'm that coach, that's all I am. I'm gonna give you tips and tools and different things for you to try out and to see what feels good in your body or what's not gonna work. Or the idea is to allow you to become so present in your body, you know exactly every moment and every day what it needs, what it requires, and you know, you're working with it. It's, you're happy. When your body is happy too, this is something else I've learned, it contributes back to the earth, it contributes to everybody around you, and that creates a whole different world. And that's what I'm desiring. I want this world to change. I want there to be a world of happy bodies. Uh, and this is what I'm doing. So body creation coaching. So, and I want to laugh. I want to play. I'm not so serious. So if you can't take play and, and laughter, then bye-bye. Um, but I love to play and joke and laugh. And that is also how we can change things in our body is with laughter. Uh, you know, so just have an open mind. If you want to play, if you want to learn a little bit more about this, make sure you know you do like this video, subscribe, and I'm going to be doing videos at least once a week. Like I said, I'm going to also do some things. Um, we're doing some yoga, maybe 10 minute yoga breathings or just stretching and breathing. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to throw a lot of things at you and you get to choose what is going to work with your body. I'm also going to give you questions and different things and where I've learned a lot of this from too. So if you desire and you would like, you can also dive into those areas a little bit more. So that's it. Body creation coaching with Cheryl. And uh, if you want to play some more, please join me um, and look for some of these new videos coming up and coming out. And I'm really excited. I'm so excited. I want to hear from you. Comment. Um, and I'm going to put my email and the links and all that jazz that you do so that you can contact me if you'd like. And um, let's have a good time. Let's see what we can create with our bodies. Guys, check you later. Bye.